Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kenya's father woke up from his coma yesterday. Oh, wow. It's good. That's no, good. It is. Now, I'm not telling you that for the reason you might assume it's. Look, I know. Let me finish. Ephraim and I were, were high school sweethearts, mm-hmm. so our, our ties, they run deep. Mm-hmm. Outside of him, you are the only other relationship I've ever had. I need you to know that. I don't know what the future holds for us. I'm, but if we decide to move forward, I, if we decide to move I, forward, it's important for you to know that Ephraim will always be a part of my life, especially since we have a daughter together. You know, you know not not too long ago, not too long ago, we decided that this was more than just sex. And now it's it. Can you stop doing that? Doing what? Forcing my hand. Forcing your hand? Forcing your hand? I'm just stating facts. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You know, we started, we started here, right? And now now we're, we're here. We changed. I know what changed. No, I don't. He's alive. Thank God, he's alive. I don't understand why things can go back to the way they were. We have something. We have something. You're right. Everything you said, you're right, okay? I just need you to, to get out of your own headspace and step into me just for a second. Everything for you, everything for you is black and white. For me, there there's a lot of gray. A lot of gray and, and I, I need to try and make sense of it all. I mean, the, the consequences for the decisions that I have to make are far-reaching. Not just for myself, but for everyone. I just need some time to figure things out. I'm sorry if, if you can't understand that. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand. So, 